Hello everyone! Oh, give me a second. Hello everyone, and welcome back to Better Minecraft. Last episode, we went on our first adventures exploring different biomes and unique structures, and we also spent some time building up our starter base, this awesome looking castle. But today, we're going to be working in this area here in front of the castle, because also last episode, we had that weird wine wandering trader dude, and we bought these grape seeds off him. And I'm thinking, what if we take these, spend some time exploring the vinery mod, and build ourselves a nice vineyard winery out the front of the castle, and let's also make a wine cellar in the castle basement too. Now we got these three different grape seeds here but there is actually more of these that we can collect. Red savannah grape seeds, jungle grape seeds. Yeah I think there's quite a few different things. You can also get an apple tree and a cherry tree as well. Now around the back of the castle we actually do already have an apple tree. This has been basically our only food supply for this series so far but that should change once we get into the vinery mod. So I'm pretty sure there's different things you can do with apples. Oh yeah we can make apple mash in a wine press. That's from vinery. Oh yeah, and then we can age that into apple juice. Well, I bet that's a way better food source than just eating apples. But for that, we're going to need an aging barrel, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, we're definitely going to get into all that stuff. But though, I should actually say, there is actually a lot more different wine that you can make. I mean, look at all of these here. So red wine and sugar. Oh yeah, look at that. It gives you improved fire resistance. So essentially, all this wine is going to act as potions, which I'm sure will come in very useful for exploring. And I'm absolutely not ready for the nether yet. But as far as I know, the more different grape seeds we have, and possibly a cherry sapling, well, the more different wines that we're going to be able to make, which of course means more potions. So with that, we're going to have to take a little adventure. I think let's go to the village that we explored last episode and let's just perhaps continue from here. Now, I think in particular at the moment, we're going to be on the lookout for a spruce biome and also a jungle biome. So I think that's where the different grape seeds spawn that we don't have yet. I did do a little bit of research and apparently they're just in like bushes. And who knows, we may find some other cool stuff too. There's definitely some wood types that we don't have yet. So getting some like spruce and stuff would be pretty nice. I mean, honestly, who doesn't love spruce? I don't think I'm going to bother with birch. We got that pretty close to base anyway. But what is this block here? Hem Lockwood. I'm not actually sure if we have that or not, you know. Um, it's pretty cool, I guess. But for now, let's keep it moving. What is this? Dacite. Oh, this looks nice. Ooh. Okay, pickaxe broke. That's not ideal. Um, that's all right, though. I brought stuff to make new tools. So, I mean, while we're on the adventure and we can gather more resources, we may as well. Yeah, and this block looks pretty cool. Oh, wait, is that spruces? Oh, I think it is. I mean, this isn't actually a tiger biome, but we may as well grab some of this spruce, get some spruce saplings as well. I'm sure this will come in handy today. But this biome's looking really cool, right? Yeah, I like this a lot. Oh, wait, is that an azalea tree? Flowering azalea logs. Yo, that's so cool. Oh, there really is just so much to see in better Minecraft, isn't there? A sharpness five knife. Hello. Okay, I don't know if that's actually good or not, but hey, we'll take it. That's probably the best loot we found so far, but still not finding any grape bushes. So the journey must continue. Oh, it finally looks like we're approaching the end of this biome now. Um, nope. Apparently we're not, it goes on forever. Oh geez, and still no grape things. Oh, what's that? That's a cool looking tower. All right, this is better Minecraft. I am going to allow myself to get a little bit distracted by structures. Could be some good loot in there. Yo, but this thing looks so cool. What is this place? I mean, is there a way in? Oh, it's all blocked off by fences. Hello? Anyone in here? Just a bunch of cats. What the heck? Um, okay. Yep. Yeah, that's definitely not weird. Oh, there's literally cats everywhere. What? is happening here. Oh, it's sort of like that other tower we found last episode, actually. Oh, there's actually a book as well. Wrath of Old Pigman. I mean, that doesn't sound ominous. Old Pigman, spare me. I will serve. Old Pigman, have mercy. Fear Old Pigman. <laughs> I don't fear anyone. Oh, who am I kidding? I actually do. Oh, I'm actually hearing bad noises. Oh, is that the Pigman? Please die. He's dead. He's dead. Good loot. Oh yes, another waystone. And an iron axe, honestly, that's actually pretty good. Oh, I'm breaking bow. I'm breaking power three bow. Yep, we'll take that too. And inventory's full, so let's just dump off a bunch of stuff in here. But the waystone, that's good. That's an easy way home now, which is actually going to be pretty useful because uh, I've already traveled pretty far. <laughs> I've still not found anything that I'm looking for yet. All right, bye cats. It was lovely meeting you. Not sure why there's so many of you in there, but bye bye. Oh, use the knife. It's sharp, apparently. It's not very strong, though. Does it work on sheep good? To be fair, that did two hit a sheep. Anyway, keep moving. Oh, well, we've made it to an actual proper ocean now. And surprise, surprise, I've still not found anything. So I guess let's just make ourselves a boat. I'm still going to give it another little while of exploring. I mean, starting with this place. Hello? New iron helmet? I mean, I may as well just take it. Some obsidian, that's pretty good. Oh, a saddle. Oh, a bit of bamboo, more moss. Whatever this moss stuff is. I mean, honestly, not that great, but uh, let's just keep moving. Oh, there's a little boat there. Oh, with a villager on it. Maybe he sells grape stuff. That'd be grape. 
You know what? I'm not even sorry. Hello. Oh, he's just a fisherman. That actually makes a lot of sense. Oh, deep fry fishing rod. There's modded fishing rods. No one told me. Reading in certain fish will cook them. Yo. Oh, there's so much fish here as well. I mean, I don't really need the fish. I mean, this fishing rod. Hello. I have to try this out. Here we go. Come on, cook a fish. Did it cook it? Yeah, cooked cod. Yo, this fishing rod's awesome. Let's definitely keep that safe in the backpack. Yo, thanks for that, Trenton. Oh, what a good guy. Right, back to the great mission. That does look a lot like a spruce biome. <laughs> I just spent 20 minutes exploring that other one. Didn't find any grapes. I'm not really sure if these berry bushes spawn differently in this terrain generation, because clearly this is not vanilla. So maybe I can only get it from the trader guy. Right, I'll do a little bit more exploring. If I don't find anything, then, well, we're going to head home and just work with what we got, I suppose. Or, wait, look at this village. What the heck, these cells are just so weird. Made of mangrove, calcite, stone, grass on the roofs. I mean, that's also a pretty dangerous lake. Wait, what's going on here? Are we all in trouble? Having a town meeting? Well, there's so many villagers here, wow. I mean, okay though, have you got any cool loot? Not so far. Tell you what, another waystone would be nice. And it really looks like these sort of normal houses though. Ooh, bacon, minced beef. Or oh, you can make burgers in this as well. Or oh, we can have McDrifts here, if you know, you know. Oh wait, that's a bigger house for a village. I was about to ask if this place is dangerous, but there's like an invisible skeleton guy here assuming it is I'll tell you what i don't really want to be a big baby let's slap down this waystone and we'll call it for now just new village and let's spend a little bit of time checking this out hopefully it's not too bad oh my lord i can't even get in i can't even get in yep i'm not ready for this i'll take it all back i take it back oh god please uh castle bye oh okay we're home we're safe here i don't really want to be a big baby uh yeah that place is not for me Coming in arrows. <laughs> right, well, that was kind of a fail. But you know what? Well, we got these grape seeds here. There's probably enough to be getting on with, right? I mean, we can definitely still make wine with that. But I mean, while we're here, let's actually take a little look at how we grow these things. So what we can actually do is make these grapevine stems, which is just two logs. So, boom, we've got a bunch of those. But if we look at this jungle one here, it says climbing grapes can only be used on walls. And from the little bit of research that I did, I think we actually need to make some of these grapevine lattice, which is just made out of sticks. So that's nice and easy to craft. So let's go test this out at the front of the castle. Let's maybe just come down here, clear out a little bit of space. And I think we can just plant these things down and then we just plant the grapes directly onto that. No, huh, I thought that's how it worked. Maybe just got to like plant them like normal seeds. No. Oh. Oh, bruh, they're gone. Oh, so did these just go on a wall? Yo, I am so confused. Oh, these are the climbing grapes. Oh, I'm so stupid. Oh, I'm such a dum-dum. Okay, well, I kind of wasted some there. That's probably upset a few people. Right, so these can only be planted on walls. So if you put this lattice down, plunk it on there. That should grow, I think. Then these other normal grapes, I'm pretty sure will go on here. Yes. And these white savannah grapes as well. Yo, okay. Right, these should produce grapes. Wait, is that done already? No. Oh, that one's gone purple, though. All right, so can we right click this? Oh, we got the grapes back. And I guess we can just turn this into seeds, replant it. Right, OK, we can see how this is working. Yeah, look, these are starting to grow now. Not ready to harvest yet, but yeah, I think we can see how this is going to work. But to actually build a vineyard, we're of course going to need way more grape seeds than we actually have at the moment. So I think I'm going to go away, spend a little bit of time sort of flattening out this area, get it all ready to build on. Or we're trying to collect a whole bunch more grape seeds. So we'll take a little break while I do that and I'll see you soon. Well, I've got a bunch of land tidied up now. And if we go take a look in this chest here, I've collected up a whole bunch of grapes too. Now, these things are pretty easy to farm, especially these red grapes. They just give you so many. So we're definitely going to have a shortage of these. But with all that, I want to start plotting out some areas for our vineyard. Now, thinking about it, I should probably grab some spare blocks here because I think I'm going to want two or three buildings in this area, probably towards the back. Because I think there's actually a bit of a process here. We're going to need a room for pressing. And we're also going to need a room for these grapevine pots. I think that's actually how you get grapes grape juice. Plus maybe we can use it to store some like grapes and stuff as well. So let's maybe have a building back here. Maybe something like this. And let's also have something along here as well. Yeah, a little something like that. And then what I've done is grabbed a whole bunch of these fences here. And this is actually where we're going to keep our little vineyard things. I should probably make a few more of those grapevine stick things. That way I'm going to know exactly what space I have to work with. So I've got quite a bit of wood here. Can I make it out of this hemlock? I'm not really too keen on that plant colour, so probably best to use it for a utility thing. But we've got an 11 wide area here. So let's leave a gap at the side and then run these all the way along. Leave another gap, place a bunch of these. And let's maybe actually make this a little bit longer. So we'll have this sort of shape. Now, of course, we need to 
to get gates in here as well. But on the inside, why don't we just try and make this path? Might look a little bit cooler. Yeah, I don't mind that. I'm kind of thinking though, you can just walk straight through these. So let's actually extend these out a little bit like that. And let's pick one of our grapes. Let's say the white savannah ones. We've got to turn those into seeds. Let me just chuck these straight on, right? Yes. Yo, know, look at that. That's pretty cool, you know? Oh, I'm liking that. Like, right, before we carry on with any more of this, I think we should perhaps start figuring out some path, maybe. So we had like an entrance in here on this building. Might just bring this straight over. So we've got a nice long path there. We'll have another entrance in here. Connect the path up. Now I'm looking at this little farm. Kind of seems like it's in a weird place. I should probably have thought about that before. Oh, geez. Give me a second. All right, that's looking a little bit more lined up and nice. And this should also just leave us room to make more of these things. Maybe this one we can have attached to this building. Just connect a little path up. Oh, I really need to upgrade from stone tools, don't I? But uh, in here, we can have our white grapes. Yeah, looking pretty cool. Now, of course, we also need somewhere to plant our red grapes here. But I'm kind of thinking of using these as decoration on the buildings, which, of course, we still need to build up. But before we move on, I really want to try and look for some more grape seeds. Or maybe at least one of those cherry trees. Because we do actually need to use this for certain things in the mod. So we can make bags of cherries for decorations. That's cool. But we also need to use it in recipes for making different types of wine. Or we can even make cherry wine that gives you regen. So that's just red grape juice, a cherry, and a wine bottle. We can get regen potions. And regen is kind of the thing that I wanted the most out of this. So I think I want to take one more shot at it. From my research, it said that it can spawn in plains biomes. And I know we have a little bit of that over in this direction. I mean, like right here next to that campsite and the old meadow village, which I definitely didn't pillage for all this loot. <laughs> so yeah, let's maybe just check this place out a little bit. I mean, there is random trees around here. I think that's an apple tree. I mean, honestly, it's probably worth looting that. It would be nice to have a few of the apple trees around the vineyard. I mean, if I break this, does it just give apple tree saplings? Oh, yeah, it does. All right, that's pretty good. But still no cherry tree. Wait, there's another tree up there. I mean, that doesn't look like a cherry tree, but you never know. I'm kind of desperate at this point. Oh, look at this. It's like an old little abandoned campsite. It's kind of cool. Might take the skelly skull. Can you use this for anything? <laughs> oh, no way, you can make a skeleton trophy. That actually might be a cool little decoration, you know? Oh, wait, is that a cherry tree? Kind of looks like an apple tree, to be honest. Oh, no. <gasps> oh, it is a cherry tree. Right, I beg you, drop me a sapling, please. Oh, I see them. Oh, it's actually happening. <gasps> One cherry sapling grows slower this season. Wait, there's seasons? Okay, well, I did not know that whatsoever. Well, I guess it's not going to grow as fast as normal. Except, so, oof. Okay, yep, that could have been pretty bad. Oh, wow, this cave is massive. Right, we'll definitely take note of that. That needs exploring at some point. But now that we found the cherry sapling, don't get tempted to go caving because we need to go back and plant more of those grape garden things and also get our new saplings planted. So I'm going to go away for a moment and get that done and I'll see you in a little while. All right, everyone, I made a little bit of progress on this area. You can see we've got some more grape areas in now. I also made a little sugarcane farm because I'm pretty sure we're going to need that a little bit later on. And also I've made a couple of wheat fields. I mean, mainly this is for decoration, but I'm pretty sure there's some recipes and vinery that we're going to need wheat. So we should be all set up for that now. But also just a quick shout out for this wheat texture. It's so good. I love all the varying heights of the wheat. Makes it look so much more interesting. But for now, I think it's time to take a little break from building because I want to try and make some apple juice. And there's actually a couple things we're going to need to make to do that. First up, we're going to need an apple press, which is a barrel, iron trap door, some sticks. That's nice and easy. We'll get a couple of those. And then we're also going to need some aging barrels, which are actually even cheaper than the apple press. Now, I think we'll go play with these over at the vineyard area, because I think one of these buildings is going to be an apple pressing room. So we'll just chuck these in here. And then the aging barrels, I actually want to make a wine cellar in the castle. But that'll probably be the last thing we do this episode. So just for now, we'll just keep them in here. But I think all we actually need to do is just put the apples into here. Oh yeah, it's doing something. Or oh, we're getting mashed apple. Okay, right. Let's split those over those two. But then once we have this apple mash, I think we can just put it in the aging barrel. Wait, what do I have to do? Apple juice. Okay, so it's the apple mash. Oh, we also need wine bottles. Okay, how do you make these? Just two glass bottles? I'm pretty sure I have some glass in the storage room. I'm not too sure if it's all stained or not though. Oh, yep, yeah, we're good. So we make some glass bottles and then do this and we get wine bottles. All right, just 16 of those. I think we might need a few more than that. And boom. 64 and 8. Okay, that should definitely be enough. Right, I'm not too sure how long this aging process takes. I imagine it takes a little bit longer than these presses. But if we just chuck our wine bottle in. Oh, no, it's actually pretty quick. Oh, 
Apple juice. All right, well, we can make a few of these, right? Or oh, all the apple mash is ready as well. Right, so we literally just throw this in. Oh, so you have to take the bottle out for it to go again. Okay, now I'm wondering, can I do something smart? If I grab myself a chest, a little bit of iron, and make myself a hopper, let's place this underneath the aging barrel. It's just taking out the wine bottles. Are you kidding me? Oh, no, that's not very good. I mean, maybe I'm being stupid. I mean, that doesn't really seem right. So we literally have to sit here and just take the apple juice out. Honestly, that is kind of annoying. I mean, I don't suppose facing the hopper like a different direction or anything would change anything about this. No. Okay, well, I guess if we just have more aging barrels, then it should make it a little bit quicker. I mean, I guess this isn't so bad. Maybe I'll do a little bit of research between clips, because uh, that'd be pretty cool to automate this, wouldn't it? But now I finally have my apple juice, and I'm not even hungry. So um, let me just... Oh, come on, be hungry. All right, will this fill up for hunger? Wait, wait, I can't drink it. What? Wait, what do you do with this thing? Do you not even drink the apple juice? Oh, you use it as an ingredient to make other things. Okay, I can make cider plus four max health. Excuse me. Wait, I got some sugar cane in here. Let's turn that into sugar. Oh, I'm such a moron. Right, let's check our sugar in and the apple juice. Oh, we're getting cider now. Okay. And then we can drink this. Oh, well, did that do anything? I don't think that really did anything. Let's try this again. Bro, it gives like no hunger. Improve regeneration plus four max health. Grants health regeneration and increases maximum health. Well, excuse me, I really don't think it does. Maybe I need to be full health first. Would that make sense? Well, here's me thinking this is going to be a really good food source and uh, I'm being really clever. And instead, I'm still eating apples, just very confused. All right, back up to full health. Let's try this thing now. Oh. Oh yeah, my heart's at the bottom. They're turning orange. Well, one of them has anyway. <sighs> well, my little break from building was fun and all, but um, probably just going to stick to what I know for now. See you in a little while. Right, so as you can see, I've had a little bit of a building break here. And this little vineyard area is already starting to come to life, right? I've chucked up a couple of buildings here. I think this one is going to be for wine. And honestly, I really just built this house for aesthetics. I don't really think we're going to need this much space for wine production out here. But maybe at some point when we get into making cheese, we can put that in there. I've also gone round, added a whole bunch of coarse dirt patches. And then I just threw a whole load of detail blocks around. And that's just stuff that we looted from that village last episode. Now we've got the benches. We've got these wooden cauldrons. We've got the cool woodcutter and a whole bunch of other stuff too. But yeah, I've got to say I'm pretty pleased with how this has come out. Tried to keep all the structures in keeping with the castle because I'm assuming this sort of thing is still going to be castle grounds, right? Oh, I also crafted these bags of apples. I think these things are a nice little detail. This is from the Vinery mod and they're super easy to craft. They're literally just nine apples. Gives you a bag full of apples and then you just place it down. It doesn't have any utility. It's just a decoration thing, but I think it's pretty cool. But at this point, I think I'm ready to try and make myself some wine. Now, I did a little bit of research on trying to automate this sort of stuff, but I couldn't really really find anything. So if any of you watching have played this mod and have some advice for me, then please make sure to leave it in the comments. And do try to read them all and take all the advice. But to start making wine, we're going to need some grapevine pots. Just a couple of slabs and some planks. We'll just get like four of these for now, I think. Not really too sure how many of these we really need. But let's maybe just get rid of these aging barrels. I'm not really going to need those right now. Because of course they're going to go into the castle. But we've got our grapevine pots here. And to go in them we're going to need some grapes. Now the wine that I want to try and make is this Noir wine. And I think this is like an instant healing potion. Probably the most useful one for us right now. But for this we're going to need some red grape juice. So if we just pick ourselves some red grapes here. I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter which red grapes we use. But I think we just right click these into here. Oh yeah that's full now. We do that with all of them. Oh yeah, so it takes six grapes. And then I think we just jump on it. Yo, okay. That's kind of satisfying. But now I guess we take our empty wine bottles. Can we just right click this? <gasps> we can. Oh, so each thing gives you two wine bottles. Okay. Oh yeah, so we've got eight red jungle grape juice. So next we just need to put this into an aging barrel with a wine bottle and then we should get some Noir wine. All right, let's just quickly try this once just before we actually build the wine cellar. So the red grape juice goes in and then the bottle. Oh, it's quick as well. Oh, Noir wine. Oh, we did it. Right, instant health. I kind of need to take a little bit of damage. Just give me one second. There we go, and drink the wine. 
Yo, okay. Hey, that's pretty good, you know. Right, we can definitely make quite a few of those. That's pretty easy. But like I said before, wine cellar up in there, which I think we're pretty close to starting work on. I know exactly where I want it to be. So just in the entrance here, we go this way. And I think maybe we could just have like a little staircase that comes around the corner, something like that, head down there. Then sort of underneath this main entrance hall will be the wine cellar. And I actually wanted this room to be like a cheese storage room. Just get some shelves up in here and stuff. But before we start building, there is another thing that I want to try and take a look at in Vinery. And that is this stuff. There's an actual winemaking outfit. There's a straw hat, an apron, got some cool jeans and some winemaker boots. But if you look at this here, it says a full set bonus. Bone meal won't get consumed anymore when on feet. So I think that means if we have actually all of this outfit, when we use bone meal, it's just basically free. I don't think I need too much here. Just some wool and some wheat for the hat. Just red wool for the apron. Wool, leather and gold for the trousers. Oh, but rabbit hide and brown wool for the boots. Oh, we don't have cocoa beans yet. I've not found the jungle. Hmm, we can make it with brown petals. No, oh, I'm not sure I have that yet. All right, well, we actually might need to save that for another episode then. So I don't think I have time for another adventure today, but that whole outfit would be pretty useful for farming, right? At the very least, though, let's try and make the hat and maybe the apron. So here we go. Here's the hat. We should be able to do the apron. Lovely. And if I can just find myself some white wool, should be able to make the trousers as well. It's only one. I think I'm going to need four. Come on, there's got to be more sheep around here. It's just a whole bunch of cows. All right, here we go. This should be doable now. Yes, look at those jeans. Right, can we just put these on top? Oh no, it actually has to replace the armor. All right, that's okay. Oh boy. <laughs> look at this. Yo, I don't know about that, you know. My hair's literally poking through the hat. <laughs> I don't know, I suppose it's pretty cool. I'll tell you what though, it'd be worth it. We can have unlimited bone meal once we get those boots. And that does mean we have to add finding a jungle to the to-do list though. Maybe we'll do that next episode. Uh, I think for now, I'm gonna get a little bit of storage in this wine room just so I've got places to store some grapes. We'll just use some of these shelves. And I think I'm going to spend a little bit of time digging out some space for the wine cellar. That way we can make lots of wine. I mean, potions. Wine potions. Yeah. All right, I got a little area dug out in here now. After putting in the staircase, I kind of figured this probably isn't enough space to store cheese. So I'll probably end up going in a different room in the castle when we get there. But I just kind of chucked some beams up here, a little bit of storage, some trapdoors, and yeah, a staircase down to this, which of course isn't actually a wine cellar yet. Still actually got to build the thing, but I think this should be a pretty good size. Kind of thinking of getting some more of these pine beans running down the side, get some shelves up to put our aging barrels on, maybe a simple sort of slight arch roof design, get something on the floor. And I think that should be a pretty cool wine aging cellar. I still can't go how stupid this outfit is. Oh, but I'm going to wear it for the rest of the episode. But with that, let's get this wine cellar built. The wine cellar is complete. We should take a little look down here. Little wine cellar. And I'm not really sure what I was expecting when I was building this. It does look pretty cute. I gotta say, I do really like it. I didn't want to do anything too big because I do want this thing to be in scale with the rest of the castle, which of course, as we know, isn't huge. But yeah, I think overall this has turned out pretty good. At this point, now I need to start actually making some wine, which I think we should be able to do just like this. And what we can actually do is take these wine bottles and store them in these things here. Look how cool that is. That's such a good detail. Of course, I have to do this quite a few more times because I never found a way to automate this. Uh, I think it's going to be pretty worth it. So I'm probably going to go away for a while just making this wine. And what I also might do is a little bit more work out in the vineyard. So I think just to tie this area off, a few more wheat fields around this side and maybe a retaining wall if it fits. I feel like that polish off this area pretty nicely. So the next time you see me, that should be all done. What the heck is that on my hands? Why have I only noticed that my hands are so massive? Okay, apparently that's part of the apron. Um, that's Kind of weird. Wait. 
Well, everyone, as you can see behind me, the new wheat field is in and it's all grown up. That thing took absolutely ages to grow. I'm not too sure why, but I gotta say, I think it's pretty worth it. You don't really notice it too much when you're down on the ground. But if we take a fly up here, you can see that it frames the area pretty nicely. So I'm glad that I took the time to do that. But while I was waiting for all that to grow, I have been making so much wine. <laughs> we have fully stocked up with wine now, which is nice. As you can see here, we've got some wine bowls stacked up. And if we head down here, yeah, we have a lot of wine. <laughs> oh, but it's all good though. You might notice here, I've actually made some cherry wine, which I've got in my inventory. And as you can see, it's just red grape juice, some cherries and the wine bottle. And this one gives us 45 seconds of regen. Now I've not tried this out yet. I was waiting to bring you guys in first. And I mean, I hope it works because well, I've made like 30 bottles of this or something at the moment. Uh, let's take a little bit of damage and we drink the wine oh yeah look at that regen oh that's so good all right i'm actually really glad i've made wine now oh, all this stuff is going to be so useful for exploring but guys with that i run out of time for this episode i'm in a slight bit of a rush to get this one out either way i really hope you enjoyed this one i had a lot of fun with the binary mod and do remember if any of you have any tips for me please let me know in the comments and if you enjoyed the video like and subscribe i'd really appreciate it catch you in the next one bye